GTF, Kisa, what's good? Another day, another video. GTF was going on, GTF was going on. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed, Jared. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed, man. Let me crank up this AC, boy. It's hot out there, boy. It is currently 87 degrees outside down here in Miami, Florida. Yard. Turn that AC on. But what's good, though? GTF was good, man. Um, your boy getting a late start, really, today to this video, man, because today was haircut day. I had to go get my cut, so that's, like, the first thing I got to do in the morning. Um, so I had to take care of that. Uh, then I had to go home and shower up or whatever, or whatever, so... Yeah, man, your boy, Baba got me right, feel me? And like I said, I ain't got nothing to hide, you feel me? I do put a little dye in my hair, you know, just to make the haircut sharper or what have you. So, you know, you got the people out there want to make the little funny jokes or whatever. But go ahead and make your little jokes. I don't care, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, I'm the one that paid for my cut. So, make your jokes or whatever you want to call it. You understand me? Just hope you don't get blocked in the process, man. Yeah. But yeah, man, what's good, though? Uh, Y'all see I got the new shirt on. Y'all see it with the South Beach colors, man. What y'all think, man? I got the new shirt on today, man. Fresh cut, fresh shirt, you heard? Fresh cut, fresh shirt. What y'all say? What's in your plate, you heard? What's in your plate? I ain't gonna lie, fam. I'm feeling this shirt. I'm feeling these colors right here. I'm feeling this color right here. Y'all drop the comments. Let me know what y'all think about the new shirt. You feel me? Like I said, these shirts are not available yet. I'm working on trying to put the uh, merch together, the website, the whole situation, actually, because I spoke to y'all about it about it in a few videos ago uh well a couple of days ago talking about like you know like the whole process of like trying to get the shirts printed so they can ship and all that that can get to be a hassle because it's kind of like you want to get the shirts made but then like you want to be able to charge a decent price but then again it's like it's hard to charge a decent it's hard to sell them to you guys for a decent price due to the fact that they charge a lot to make the shirts. The, char the, sh the shirts are expensive to get and make and get printed or whatever. And then on top of that, shipping is expensive. You feel me? So that's why I'm trying. I'm still trying. That's why it's kind of taking longer. It's taking me a little longer with the merch. You feel me? Because I'm trying. I want. I want to be able to do it for a decent price. I don't want nobody to think like, oh, I'm trying to take advantage of them or I'm trying to price gouge and all that. It's not about that. Y'all already know inflation out here is crazy. Yeah. So. I don't know, man. So that's why it's taking me longer than normal, man. But as you can see, man, I'm funking the merch. You feel me? I'm repping the brand. What's in your plate, Jerry? Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah, man. This morning, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. Your boy was hot this morning after I got a haircut, bro. Like, I was driving. I was driving in the, in a, in the far left-hand lane. And there was a car on the right, in the, in the middle lane. And I'm driving. I'm coming. I'm coming like this. I'm coming and this car, both of us coming. And all of a sudden, this car comes and, and tries to make a left turn in front of me. And I'm in the far left-hand lane. This car is making a left lane. I mean, a left turn from the middle lane, bro. Like, you feel me? Which, on the road that we was doing, that's illegal. So, I had to slam on the brakes. Everything on my chair fell down. Camera, phones, everything. Bro, I was so hot, bro. I was so hot, I put down the window, I went to cussing the person out and all the time, you feel me? Like, you, you try not to let that road rage get to you, but there's some people out here, they just, they just don't, like, I don't understand, why are you on the road, bro? Like, who gave this person a vehicle? Who gave this person a license, bro? It's people out here on this road, bro. If you, if you don't drive for yourself and other people and be aware of your surroundings at all times, you are doomed out here, bro. And then on top of that too, the person was driving an old Chevy HHR. I know they ain't have no insurance. So they would have hit me. If I didn't step slap on the brakes, they would have hit me. Then wouldn't have been able to pay for my insurance. I mean, wouldn't have been able to pay for my damage because I know they ain't had no insurance that old HHR. And it was beat up. It was a gray color. I hope that person see this video. You had the gray HHR, beat up HHR. It looked like you got no insurance. I hope you see this video. You feel me? We was driving down 135th Street going... 135th Street, going, what that is? Going, I'm bad with the directions. We was going west, west on 135th Street. They turned by the gas station with the McDonald's, came from the left, the middle lane, and made that turn. It almost hit me, I had to slap or slap on the, smash the brake. I hope that person see this video, because you ain't had no insurance with that beat up HHR you driving, bro. And I ain't trying to talk down on nobody, but that person had me hot, dog. Cause that person would have hit me, they ain't got no insurance. Then I'd have been out here stuck hot, high and dry. You understand me? They can't pay for my repairs or what have you. Now I'd have to go in my pocket or whatever, my through my insurance to get my to get my car re repaired. 
I was mad. Well, I was so mad, but I'm glad that situation. It happened a, a couple of hours ago, so I'm calm down now. But I ain't gonna lie, I was mad. You know, I was pissed off. But I'm good now. You feel me? Um, as far as um, what we eat today, fam. Um, hold on, let me strap up. As far as what we eating today, man, um, like I said, I got a late start today, so it's kind of like I didn't really have anything planned, so it's like a freestyle type of day. But I had got the notification on my phone that McDonald's then brought out the uh, the Big Mac sauce. You know what I'm saying? The Big Mac sauce with the containers or what have you. So whatever we doing today going to revolve around McDonald's just so we can go get the... Uh, the Big Mac, uh, the Big Mac sauce with the new container thing. You feel me? Like they actually selling Big Mac sauce in the little containers, like a dipping sauce or whatever. So we gonna, you know what I'm saying? So whatever we getting there, we going to McDonald's and whatever we getting from there. You feel me? Going to involve us getting that Big Mac dipping sauce. I ain't gonna. I'm excited about this Big Mac dipping sauce. Yeah, I ain't gonna cap with you. But anyway, man, I've been talking enough. You feel me? Let's start making these moves, man. So you gotta be aware of your surroundings when you're driving. Got to You not only gotta look at your backup camera, you gotta turn. You feel me? And everything. You make them neck movements, turn your head, all that. Cause these people out here, boy, they don't care, boy. They will damage your vehicle, and then think everything is fine. But yeah, fam, that's what we doing. We on the road with it. Let go. Hi fam, we pulling in right now. Yes sir, we are here. I'm looking for you feel me, I already know Big Mac sauce is the best sauce. The best fast food sauce is Big Mac sauce. You feel me, there's a whole bunch of other great sauces out there, but Big, Big Mac sauce fall in the top five sauce a fast food sauce, period, you feel me? What y'all think about that? Y'all drop in the comments and let me know. I think Big Mac sauce falls in the top five category of fast food sauces out there, man. I ain't gonna cap with you. Yarr. All right, fam, so I'm in the line waiting to get to the order board. Uh, I remember last time when I did that McDonald's review uh, where I ate the Big Mac recently and the Big Mac meal cost me... 10 or 11 dollars somewhere around there i remember you guys were in the comments i already had known about the app but just that day i just didn't use the app but i remember y'all was in the comments talking about oh you should order it in the app it would have been like six bucks da -da 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 -da. so what i did was since i'm in the line waiting i went ahead and ordered on the mcdonald's app and what i did was i got the 10 piece nugget uh i got the 10 piece i went and got the 10 piece spicy nugget because Apparently the Big Mac sauce comes with the nuggets or whatever how they trying to work it like you can get dip, you can get Big Mac dipping sauce for your nuggets So we're gonna definitely try that and see how that works see how that tastes But I went ahead and I know that they had the new nuggets I think they're new the spicy nuggets or what have you so I went ahead and ordered those although I'm not a big spicy food person I'm hoping that these big nuggets uh, these McDonald's make nuggets are not super spicy But I got 10 piece nuggets. I got a medium fry you feel me and a drink you understand me So that's what I got we about to pull up to the order board Uh, you using the mobile app today? Yes, sir. I got a mobile under my code is CZ38. That's on the bus. All right. I mean, they don't give me the Big Mac sauce. Big? Yes. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. All right, fam. We got the grub here. Hey, fam, I had to go through that bag because they charge you for the Big Mac sauce. The Big Mac sauce, the Big Mac sauce, according to the app, is 40 cents. And I'm opening the bag and I don't see my Big Mac sauce. And that's the reason I came here, bro. Stop playing with me. Let me get my Big Mac sauce here. All right, fam. Time to set up Grub Tim Mobile Studio. Yes, sir. 
Some masks. Wipes. Yeah, fam. I want that for the Big Mac sauce. If I would, if I wouldn't have checked the bag, sometimes I have the habit of not checking in the back. Checking the bag. If I wouldn't have checked the bag, if I wouldn't have checked the bag, I done left and not got no Big Mac sauce, and I paid for it. They charge forty cents for the Big Mac dipping sauce. At least that's what I saw on the app. But um, in total. See my receipt. In total, I spent 865. I got I ordered what I ordered. Uh and then I used that 25% discount thing through the app. And it came out 865. So that's grub for under half a dub. Yeah. Good. Now let's get into the spoon. Gotta pull one for the GTF. Let's pop this thing open. Got the medium fry. Y'all already know the fries always look like they come up short, girl. 10 piece spicy nugget. Big man sauce. That bit man sauce. You heard two of them. All right, fam. That close up action of what I got. This is the medium fry. As always, I ain't gonna lie, McDonald's, man. I mess with y'all, but the fries always look short. 10 piece spicy nugget. I ain't really no spicy food person, so I hope these don't go too hard on the spice. Although the color of them is, you know, is a big difference from how the non spicy one look. You feel me? These look red. So I hope that don't mean it's super spicy. Then we got the bit man sauce. The reason we came here, baby. Big Mac sauce. All right, fam. Y'all pardon the AC if it's too loud. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I gotta turn it up a little bit. It's hot out here, you feel me? I'm parked over here in the shade too, so my camera don't overheat. Hopefully it doesn't overheat. I mean, it's a little shade. It's still kind of hot outside, so whatever. But anyway, like I said, I went to Mickey D's because of the Mac sauce. And while I was at it, they had the new item, the spicy nuggets. I don't know if, they, if it's new new or did they just bring it back. But uh, that's what I got here. I got the 10 piece nugget. I got two of the Mac sauce. I got a medium fry. Of course, they always look like the fries are short. You understand me? But yeah. So, first thing first, we got that nugget. As you can see, that nugget looking mighty orange. I guess that's what, you know, kind of gives you that, that vibe that it's supposed to be spicy. I Wait, why did that? No, why I dipped it in the Mac sauce first? I'm going to eat the nugget by itself first, no Mac sauce. Hit that beat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. I like the spicy nuggets. <clears throat> it got a little bit of kick to it, but it's not crazy. I can handle it. I feel like it kind of like specifically made these nuggets for me because I'm not really into spicy foods. But I don't mind a little bit of spice. Nuggets. Now for the nugget with the Mac sauce on there. Y'all see that? I'm going to dip that bit. And I'm going to hit that bit. Hmm. Nugget with that Mac sauce. Oh, please. I ain't gonna cap it off now. See, the thing with the Mac sauce, I ain't gonna lie. 
when they said they were going to start selling dipping mac sauce in the little containers i was wondering was it going to taste the same feel me matter of fact let me try <clears throat> that spice getting to me now <clears throat> matter of fact hold on let me try it without dipping anything into it just try the sauce like that you got the sauce Mm hmm so well they said they were gonna do the mac sauce and dipping containers at first i was like man i wonder if it's still gonna taste the same feel me but i done tried it and it does taste exactly like the same like the same mac sauce that they pour on the big that they put on the big mac so that mac sauce definitely hitting i'm happy that they brought it out you feel me y'all already know i like mcdonald's fries Fries. So I'm gonna dip the fries in the Big Mac sauce. Dip, dip it. Hit, dip it. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yes, sir. I'm definitely messing with the Big Mac sauce, boy. I'm gonna dip the nugget in the Big Mac sauce again. Dip, dip it. And I'm gonna hit, dip it. Yes, sir. <clears throat> so, you know what I wanted to say today? Shout out to fries with a big mess sauce on there. Major shout out to Peaks 100. Major shout out to Peaks 100. And these fries with these Bitman sauce, man, they on point. They fuck. But yeah, um. What so them boys racing? Hold on, let me stop eating so I can say what I got to say. Major shout out to that boy Peaks 100. I've been watching this content. I mess with that boy. I salute that boy Yerb. And, and recently, in one of his videos, in one of his videos, you know, he mentioned the grub tent. And he said um, something. He said, uh, I forget what kind of food he was eating, but he said the food is not on point. He said, my God, he said, my God, hit you with the grub tent. This food is not on point. That was funny. That was funny. So major shout out to that boy. You feel me? That was definitely unexpected. I didn't expect that boy to mention my name. You know, that boy, he been doing this thing with the food review thing. And I definitely appreciate the recognition, fam. I most definitely appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Salute to you, fam. Cause you definitely, you most definitely ain't had to mention me, bro. So for you to do that, you're a real dude, fam. Feel me? And I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Shout out to that boy Peaks 100, man. I appreciate, I appreciate the recognition, my G. But yeah, fam, what I want to talk to y'all about today, it'll be brief, because I got, I got to go do something. I got an appointment. But I saw, this is time to chance to exit if you don't want me to blow the show for you. Last night I watched the, uh, what they call it? The, the night action. Night action, that's the name of the show? The night agent, my bad, I'm tripping. The night agent. Season one. What's episode five? Episode six I watched last night. Damn, I'm tripping today, bro. I don't remember. But anyway, the episode I watched, they did a flashback 
one of the two assassins. The two assassins. It was the, the man and the female. I don't know if there was really a couple, but you know, they was really, they was knocking the boots on the show or whatever. I don't know if they was even supposed to be, you know, messing with each other like that. Cause you know, at the end of the day, when you, them special agents or spies or whatever, you're not really supposed to be sleeping with your coworkers or whatever you want to call it. You understand me? But anyway, you know, him and her was always together when they wanted to go pull these missions to kill people. But they did a flashback on their life. Like lately, the last couple of agents, last couple of episodes of Night Agent, they've been doing flashbacks on certain individuals. So they did a flashback of them um, where they had killed some dude. They threw the dude in the ocean and they put like some chains around him so I'm gonna sink at the bottom of the ocean or whatever. At the time, it seemed like the dude, the uh, the male um, assassin, at the time, it seemed like he wasn't uh, he wasn't too sure of her. Like as far as like, he didn't think like she would be able to handle, you know, the whole like killing people thing, or whatever. But she was able to handle it or whatever. But then fast forward, boom. So now, Rose and Peter find out that Diane Farr, which is Peter's handler, are really is is really in on the whole uh, the terrorism attempt or the whole assassination attempt or whatever they was trying to do. Diane Farr turns out to be crooked. And she, yeah, she really crooked, but I'm like, damn, I really, I was I was starting to trust Diane Farr, you feel me? Peter's handling. And it turns out she crooked. And Peter peeped, you feel me? Peter ran some game on her. And based on what she said, Peter peeped that, you know, that she ain't right. So now, you feel me? So she stepped out the room. She had left Peter in the room. She stepped out the room. And she went to go call the people on the back line. You know, yo, man, Peter knows everything. Da 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 da. So, so now she like, okay, so now you feel me? Now they supposed to be trying, now they gonna try to, uh, was supposed to try to arrest Peter or whatever. Feel me? Diane Farr, them finna frame him. So Peter had them been Pete gang, cause you know what I'm saying? He know that Diane Farr is in on the whole t uh, terrorism, assassination, whatever you wanna call it. So now Peter sneak up out the back, you heard? So he went to, uh, you know, he was in the Secret Service building. I don't know if it was the White House or whatever. Some secret type of, so it was all type of doors through that. So he all running through all type of, through, through different doors or whatever. So then he went down in the basement somewhere and he had the secret agents, the, 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 the Secret Service agents chasing behind him. And he went down in the basement where he hid in some place that was like an AC type of vent or something like that. And they couldn't find him or whatever. And they come to find out why he was in a vent. You know, you could see, you know, it was a vent. So you got the groove so you could see out. So he's seen the people go through a back tunnel like a little... A, a, a thing that's it was a door that says danger keep out or something like that but really in that behind that door it was really an elevator that's like take you to a, through a tunnel or something and peter was able to peep that and then he went through the tunnel and he snuck up out there anyway meanwhile peter had left rose with his homeboy you feel me that he trusts and he had left rose cause when he went to go talk to diane he had left rose with with with, with, with his homeboy so now so now, um, when he left Rose with the homeboy, so now, you know, they in there, they talking, whatever, whatever, whatever. And, uh, Peter called Rose. Peter called Rose and told Rose, yeah, Diane Farr is really crooked or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So now Rose said, you know what? She got to leave. So now Rose and the homeboy, they decided to get in the whip, so they take off. So they was being tracked by the assassin, by the two assassins. They was being tracked by the, because they had a, a Diane Farr put a tracking device on their vehicle. So they was being tracked by the assassins. So now, you feel me, uh, Peter Homeboy, he said, yo, I'm a, uh, he told Rose, yo, I'm gonna drop you off over here, you gonna run, and I'm gonna drive off, and I'm gonna try to steer them away. But you know what I'm saying, the assassin peeped like, yo, why they stopped? And then started driving again. So the assassin peeped like, okay, yo, she got out the car. So now, his, the, 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 the female assassin dropped the male assassin off to go find, um, to go find a Rose, and the female assassin continued driving when they go chase the homeboy who was in a vehicle and she crashed into a bomb, whatever, you feel me? Big accident, but he was out of it or what have you. And then when he came to, the assassin lady came, she shot him, bomb, 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 you feel me? So now he dead or whatever. So now, the male assassin, he called up the road. So now, you know what I'm saying? So tussle, there's a tussle going down. And Peter come out of nowhere, he jump on the assassin, boom, you feel me? Whatever, whatever, whatever. So now Peter tell the road, Rose, get out of here while he's tussling with the assassin, whatever. But thank God Rose didn't get out of here because if it wasn't for Rose, Peter would have got his ass. Well, he was getting his ass beat. So if it wasn't for Rose, Peter would have been dead, Jerry. Peter would have been dead. So now they tussling, they tussling. So Rose come back with a with a big old piece of wood. She hit the assassin. Bam! You feel me? She scoped that boy. So now that boy, he fall to the floor, whatever the case may be. So now uh, Peter and um, the assassins, they still tussling. They tussling, they tussling. Rose come with the wood again. 
bam, you feel me? She cropped that boy, whatever. Anyway, tussling, tussling, tussling. It turns out, you feel me? Then, um, you know, they was able to overpower the assassin guy, and he ended up getting, he ended up dying. Uh, Peter choked him out and killed him. You feel me? Uh, so now the female assassin found that out, and she's pissed off because you know that was also her lover or whatever the case may be. And then from there, I believe it ends. But yeah, fam, um. I'm getting a phone call right now. Like I said, I got an appointment to go take care of. But I appreciate y'all for tuning in. This Big Mac sauce on point. You feel me? Get the nuggets too with the Big Mac sauce. Try that out, Jerry. GTF for life.